So today, a third UFO has been discovered in Red Dead Redemption 2 and possibly what appears to be Michael DeSanta from Grand Theft Auto 5. This is a new Easter egg or mystery in Red Dead Redemption 2 that the community needs to come together to help solve. And in this video, I'll be showcasing to you guys what exactly I'm talking about with video proof of the third UFO and Michael DeSanta in Red Dead Redemption 2. So drop a like if you guys do go on to enjoy this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos and live streams and check out my Red Dead Redemption 2 playlist down in the description and let's jump right in. So first off, I just want to catch you guys up on some history of UFOs in Red Dead Redemption 2 thus far. First, we had the UFO at the abandoned cabin in the Heartlands Overflow in New Hanover which was featured near Emerald Lake. And if you visited this cabin at around 2 in the morning, a UFO would descend from the sky and hover over the cabin. It doesn't really do anything except move around slightly and you're free to shoot at it or try to blow it up but no matter what, it just stays there until you leave the cabin or it gets to early morning in game time. And the moment you leave the cabin, it flies away back up into space and seemingly disappears with a mysterious flash. The second UFO sighting is on top of Mount Shan when you visit there at night and you can see this UFO in the distance. It's a pretty tiny UFO that's glowing red on the bottom and there's a green light on top. And this is the UFO that alerted players that there may be three or more UFOs in the game. While we don't know the exact number of UFOs in the game, Game, we now know a third UFO in Red Dead Redemption 2 is featured. This new third UFO Easter egg was found by Lit Dunker 4 I'll leave a link to the original video he uploaded on his YouTube channel down in the description definitely go check them out and I'm gonna show you guys a video showcasing it right now. Now while nothing is known about this UFO as this player seems to be the only one in the world with video proof showing this UFO to my knowledge and even he doesn't know how he was able to trigger this new UFO mystery. You don't have to be 100% complete with the game because he was early on in the game's storyline as well. When you look at this UFO it almost seems like it's either abducting someone or actually dropping someone off back on the planet and what's crazy is that if you inspect the UFO site, you actually see a burned corpse on top of the mountain. And you can see the location where you can find this mystery on screen right now. This body appears to be the body of Michael DeSanta. And I know it sounds crazy, but just hear me out. If you loot this body, you actually retrieve the Epsilon program amulet that you can unlock in Grand Theft Auto 5 for Michael DeSanta. And if you compare the two amulets together in a side-by-side -side in Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, then you can easily tell that they look the exact same. And what's even more interesting is what Ned Luke is saying on Twitter about Michael DeSanta in Red Dead Redemption 2. Ned Luke is a voice actor for Michael in Grand Theft Auto 5 and it was originally revealed in the credits that he was involved in Red Dead Redemption 2. There's an old photograph of some of the O'Driscoll gang members and Michael appears to be in that photograph. When people tweeted at him asking about that little easter egg he says it's not him and he says the following. Spotted in the credits. Now can you find me in the game? Hint. They took away my voice work. Gonna be hard to recognize, but the character work is still in there. So it appears that his voice acting was also cut from the game and that his character is most likely unrecognizable while you're playing. So with all this being said that's coming from Ned Luke himself, this Grand Theft Auto 5 amulet is a good clue in solving this UFO mystery and that this could in fact be Michael in Red Dead Redemption 2. This burned corpse could be Michael. I want to know your thoughts down in the comments section below. There's arguments about Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto 5 conflicting if they are in the same universe, but when you have the same amulet in both games, it's a good chance that there is some more to be discovered about how exactly Michael DeSanta fits in to the Red Dead Redemption universe and specifically Red Dead Redemption 2. That wraps up what I want to talk about in today's video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support and welcome to all the new subscribers recently. For now, drop a like if you guys enjoyed and if you think this is Michael DeSanta in Red Dead Redemption 2, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Be sure to check out my Red Dead Redemption 2 playlist and also follow me on Twitter at HazardousHDTV so I can talk with you in real time over on there. I tweet out when all my videos are going live so you can be the first ones to watch. I have some more Red Dead Online news and information to talk to you guys about tomorrow. So nonetheless, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.